Hello again, this is Chris Bark from Arkin Games. This time we're going to talk about the uh, Start New Game menu, or the lobby, at least one part of it. We click Start New Game, and this is what we're presented with, something along these lines. Now, what happened here? This looks weird. Uh, we got all this empty space up here, and it's kind of like, what's happening? The reason that we have all that empty space there is that rather than centering on this entire galaxy, um, it has centered on the planet that is currently set as your home planet. Um, my contention is that that probably shouldn't happen, that it should instead open up more like this, and that we should try and hit a zoom level where it fits everything in. Um, that could be pretty difficult to fit everything in for sure, because unlike the first game, we're not explicitly um, we're not explicitly putting any limits on exactly how the galaxy can be laid out. So you have these other ones to get created that um, that really um, can get pretty far out there. Um, and at the zoom level I'm at right now, really none of these are too bad. All of these, there's some way to fit the bounds of this on the screen at the zoom level I'm at. But the question is, um, do we want to start, you know, way zoomed out like this? Should we perhaps start like way zoomed in on the planet that we're at? So the player immediately is seeing, oh, this is me and there's stuff around me and I can't see the overall shape of the galaxy, but they immediately are kind of self-trained then to Task number one when you get in here is zoom out, maybe. Uh, is that something that we want to do? Um, okay, so the other thing to talk about here is um, when we've got uh, all of these planets here, um, there's a bunch of names, and what do these mean? You know, they're the names of planets. You know that. You've played the first day I wore, so we refer to them as that. Um, however, it's kind of cluttery at the moment, I feel like, and it doesn't necessarily mean, it, well, you tell me, does this mean something to a new player? Should we be suppressing the, uh, all these names that are showing up here? Maybe only when you mouse over it, should it show the name? Um, a lot of times, uh, in the first game, there were a limited number of planets you could choose from, and so it was useful to be able to say, hey, I'm going to go to Bronwyn, hey, I'm going to go to Zeklite, whatever, uh, when you're playing multiplayer. Um, in this particular case, um, I can't even tell what the names are without zooming in to some extent. It's like, okay, that's Hoplon. I couldn't see it because it was all crumbled up underneath that. In the first game, we didn't have zoom on the galaxy map, so we never had that problem. In the first game, our galaxy maps had to be very small and crunched up, which was a whole other set of problems. So we want to train people to zoom in and out on the galaxy map, which brings me back to that earlier question that I asked you before. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty handy that whenever you're on a planet, and it's saying, hey, this is you. And then it's also got the little red things around it showing you that um, that is you. Um, you know, these are the things that are adjacent to you. I think that's useful. Uh, when I click to another planet, uh, it had to regenerate it, which I really don't like because that can be pretty darn slow. Uh, Keith is going to complain at me about this because um, there are some... Um, good reasons that he's doing it, but I feel like a little too much is being generated sometimes and the generation can be slow. Um, it, it, it just feels a little on the laggy side to me. I don't know. I don't know how big of an issue that is though to people. If nobody's all that bothered by it, then fine. Um, one less thing for us to do. If this is an absolutely enraging thing for you, um, it's better for us to know now rather than later so that we can correct it because uh, this is one of the first experiences that people are gonna have with the game and we don't want this to be an enraging experience for them. Uh, you'll notice we're not talking about anything with the bottom bar here yet. We'll get to that in a different uh, video slash thread. Right now, what I wanna talk about is 
only for purposes of starting a new game? Uh, how do we see, um, you know, what is our planet? What does the galaxy map look like? All these Zoom questions and things that I've been talking about. Um, I'm panning with the mouse, uh, sorry, I'm panning with the mouse at the edge. I'm panning with the keyboard um, um, arrow button, arrow keys, and I can pan with WSAD. Um, I also would want to know um, what my profile name is, which I've not selected anywhere or set anywhere. And um, I would want to be able to see, okay, X4000 is me. Where does it say that? Um, and if I'm playing uh, with my dad, Dune, uh, where does it say that? Um, so, you know, and how do I see where his planet is? I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on to Mati, and, um, you know, you go over to Luke, Luke's or whatever. This regeneration thing, when I switch planets, incidentally, is going to really throw a kink in things in multiplayer because as soon as I click to Mati, whatever his selection is, I assume just got lost. Or if we both click to Mati, what happens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this whole flow here, just with this one part of it, feels not the best to me. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Rip us a new one.